<laughs> Somebody woke back up. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> we are literally just getting up and out of the house. We have done nothing but lounge around, eat a couple granola bars, one applesauce. And the first thing we are doing before it's even appropriate weather or time of day is jumping in this backyard pool. Kruby Doo, are you the first one out of the gates, bro? The reason we are gearing up for this jump in and making sure we get it on video the reason I'm still dressed. is because this water is freezing <laughs> and it's not that warm out here either. So we want to get one good jump on video before these guys go, I'm going back in the house. Set, go. What? Is it cold? Did that work? No. It's not cold, you can barely breathe. <laughs> When you come up and can't breathe, that's how you know it's cold. Guys, you're not tempting me to get into this water right now. This reminds me of being a kid when we would go on vacation with the family. I could not care less if it was freezing cold. I just wanted to be in a pool. That's all I cared about. So these kids are gonna enjoy the pool right now. Me and mom are gonna enjoy doing videos and Insta stories of them. <laughs> Are you pushing the warm water over and by the waterfall? <laughs> the sun's out, which means the fun's out. Gun's out, I don't really have any guns. Run, guy! This is how we be. <laughs> it's freezing, but it's kind of fun. Oh, oh epic belly flop. This is how we <laughs> It's really, really cold, but it's just like anything else. You can get used to it. <laughs> Everybody get on me. I'll take you to safety. <laughs> it's hard to beat a backyard pool day or a lazy day at our house. Oh, and full house tour coming very soon. Later in today's vlog, we're gonna walk you through Bell's Castle. And we have another special something we're doing today. What is it, buddy? The beach! We're hitting up the beach, baby! Yeah! A lot of swimming today, guys. <laughs> 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 Guys, look at this poolside service. We are literally chilling poolside with the boys. Just hanging out. We're plotting our day tomorrow at Universal Studios. This is amazing. Thank you very much, pool maiden. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. Wow, look at this poolside service, you guys, while we chill here at the pool. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. We love you. We're having an incredible time in the pool. It's warming up. We had a pool guy come out, check the heat on it. He got it fixed up. It's warmed up. The spa's warming up. We were having an incredible start to our day today. Mom ran off to go get us some lunch, some Panda Express. Delicious way to have lunch. So we're gonna go in, do the house tour for you guys, watch Harry Potter, eat some Panda Express. It doesn't get much better than this. Let's go! <laughs> so guys, while we're waiting for mom to get back here with lunch, we've got an exciting new game we want to show you and tell you about. We've partnered with Osmo Hot Wheels Mind Racers, and we we're putting together this rad video that we did while we were back at the hotel a couple of days ago. It turned out super cool, and we want to share that with you guys, so check it out. This is an ad for Osmo Hot Wheels Mind Racers. <laughs> Osmo is a game platform that works with iPhone and iPad, and it's got a total of 10 games that you can play on it. Now, Mind Racers is just their newest game, and it just barely came out, but it also happens to be our favorite because you take Hot Wheels cars and you bring them to life inside of the game. To get started, all you need to do is put on the iPad base, then you need to get the iPad, put it in the base, and then you need to get the red reflector camera and put it on. Let's get ready to race these suckers. Put on your cars. <laughs> no, it knows your car. How does it do that? It do I honestly it? don't know. How does no. it know? You take it off, and it knows your car when you set it on there, you guys. Okay, like now hold up, hold up. Do you guys have your tokens organized? The yeah. tokens are critical in this game. Yeah. This is where you have to do some strategy, guys. So you want to organize your tokens ahead of time. Boost is going to give you an instant jolt of speed. It's like a turbo nitro boost. Spin is going to break crash hazards on the racetrack. Attack is going to be what you use when you're behind, but it'll help you catch up to your opponent. And then you only get one star, you guys. You've got one star, so use that thing wisely. So that when you're out here racing, you launch your guys and you're going to be going through the track. And in order to get ahead and to win this race, you're going to have to use these tokens in a smart way by throwing them actually onto this game board right here. Like, you throw that down right 
and that token will actually activate your action power inside the game because the way you use the tokens is going to determine how you win this and game. These are the target ones, and um, it'll alarm you. So pretend that I threw one in. It was coming for Ragai. It would say, be aware. So you'd want to probably do a turbo boost. So just hit the track. Holy cow. Dude, you're already doing some epic strategy. Hey, you guys got a perfect start. Both of you guys did. Boost! Yeah! Oh my gosh, it worked, dude. You threw a boost on there and you actually boost in the game. Oh my gosh, how does it know that? How does it know when you are putting down a token? Oh! <laughs> oh, did you hit him with the attack? So guys, this is what I think is cool. As you lay down the token on this game board, it sets the thing right out in front of you in the track, so you hit it in the yeah. track. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you gotta be smart with them, guys. You gotta be smart. Wait, can I use this? Yes, I can. Oh, I win! Did you win? <laughs> yeah, one minute and five seconds. That's my time. So on Skyway, it looks like perfect speed won the race. Nice job, Ragai. That's you. The first challenge goes to Ragai. Guys, you wanna talk about your favorite cars? Which ones you like and why? Let's do that real yeah. quick. Okay, Perfect Speed is my favorite car because it looks legit and also because it throws balls of yarn and it does really bad damage. I like Blitz Speeder because he's the fastest one and he is as fast as lightning. My favorite is Dragon Blaster. He goes really fast and he shoots snowballs. Um, dude, mine set off um, something in the air and it just shot you. Spin. Here it comes. Oh, you know what? Spin. Get a boost ready, get a boost ready. If he does another attack. Oh, you used all your boosts already. That's why you guys gotta be smart about this. It's yeah. called Mind Racer. You've gotta use your mind. Perfect start. You guys have to start at the exact same time. Oh my gosh. I think you freaking nailed it. Oh, challenge complete. Nice yeah. job, you guys. So what these guys are doing right now is they're going through a series of challenges to unlock other worlds inside this game. They just did the perfect start challenge. Looks like this next one up is a boost challenge. Let's see how it goes. Now, I boom, boom, boom. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, you are literally flying, dude. Oh, dang it, that was nice. Just don't do any. That makes you, yeah. That's just amazing to me. Here it comes, Rex. Oh, dang it, counterattack. Yes, it says counterattack. I just got him. <laughs> So guys, if there's anything we've learned by playing this game for a while, is there is some serious strategy to these tokens. You've really gotta use them wisely. You've really gotta know what your opponent's throwing down and what you can throw down to counter attack or to avoid an attack or to get that last minute boost that you need to win with some high speed. So the tokens are critical and honestly, they're my favorite part of the game. This game is so much fun, you guys. It is so cool to throw a token onto a game and then have it actually interact with you inside of the game. It just feels so much more involved. It feels so much more real. Just got freaking dirt. Oh, Brett, look! You can get Osmo Hot Wheels Mind Racers at PlayOsmo.com, Amazon, and Best Buy. And for more cool details, check out the link in our description down below. And be sure and subscribe to Osmo for some rad videos. Thank you guys for watching. We've had a ton of fun doing this with Osmo Hot Wheels Mind Racers, and the kids legitimately love this game. Oh, sweet! I did spins to make me go faster. I win! Dang. I win! So guys, no joke, we shot that like a couple days in the hotel, and I'm not even kidding you, the kids have not stopped asking to play that. So, super legit game, we really genuinely love it, tons of fun, and the kids cannot get enough of it. The first thing they did when we got into the house was to set it up in the top bunk in Brexton's room, which we'll show you later today in the house tour, but now, let's eat some lunch. What hazy girl, is that yummy, that rice? Yeah. Oh, look at Brexy Doodle with his orange chicken. Guys, B. Ah. Guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. I don't know the rest, but be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. Oh my gosh. Please, for the love of everyone watching, what? don't sing anymore. Sorry. I thought you said you wanted pizza, but we can't have it, just your own pi pizza. <laughs> what? Mom went and got Panda for everybody and crew his very own cheese pizza. 
a lovely cheese pizza just for me. Mom, what could we do? Here, buddy, this can be yours. What do you say to mom? Thank you. Mom, you're amazing. She went and got us Panda Express. Crew didn't want any, he wanted pizza, but we're not gonna obviously go get two lunches. No, mom does, brings everybody their lunch, and crew his own cheese pizza. It's vacation time, everybody. <laughs> That's how you know it's vacation time, baby. All right, guys, we're kind of forcing this one. It is windy, freezing, but we're only in California just this once. We gotta hit the beach, we gotta get in this ocean, because this is how we bring up. Oh my gosh. Rex! You guys having second thoughts? <laughs> no. Crew's like, no. <laughs> Boy, are you guys toasty warm or what? I'm actually not cold. Are you kidding me? A hoodie would not even be enough for me right now. This is so cold. I'm not getting wet. You guys look amazing, by the way. These stunning beach babes just chilling in Newport. What's up now? You got it. That always, always. Check out this video. There were two kids who nearly drowned and a bodybuilder jumped in and saved them. Two kids nearly drowned. A bodybuilder jumped in and saved them, risking his own life. He nearly died. He was rescued by lifeguards. Anyways, whole thing caught on video. I'll link that for you right now. Which seems stupid to bring your two kids to a beach that two kids almost drowned in, but you can't just not go to the beach because of that. You still gotta live, you still gotta have fun. We're just hanging out here together, keeping it shallow, keeping it real, and keeping it cold because it's freezing cold. But it's gorgeous, you guys. It's beautiful. It's California. It's vacation. We do not care. Somebody woke back up. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is so fun! <laughs> guys love the ocean, which makes me feel so good because it was my favorite thing growing up. Every vacation, it was always at a beach, always at the ocean. All I wanted to do was play in the waves, and that's exactly how these guys are. <laughs> oh, groovy. because I knew it was so cold. Are you having fun playing with the sand castle? Yep. Yep. Hi. See? She's having so much fun. But the sun, oh my gosh, is absolutely stunning. Like I couldn't have chosen a better activity to do tonight. This is like the perfect, like almost ending to our trip because we're going to Universal Studios tomorrow. Then we're headed home the next day. So I was glad that we were able to get a little bit of time in at the beach. All right, you guys, we've been promising you a house tour all week. We are here at Bell's Castle right now. Come with me, let's go check this thing out. Oh, hi. Welcome to Bell's Castle. <laughs> well, well, and what a kind, gentle doorman we have here. Hello, hi, Brexton. Be our guest, be our guest. Da, 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 da. I don't think you guys can see how awkwardly I'm dancing from that. So guys, check this out. You walk in, first thing you see is a mural of Bell's Castle right here on the wall. Unbelievable, incredible mural. This winding spiral, gorgeous staircase. 
<laughs> you also see Hazy back there on a high chair <laughs> asking for mom. She's eating a donut right now, which is critical to this tour. The first thing you see when you walk in when we got here is all the lights are off except the lighting on the steps. It is the coolest look with everything dark and just lights leading up the steps. And then there was a single light right here on Belle and the Beast and the actual Beauty and the Beast Rose right here. You got Mrs. Potts right here. She was actually right here, but Hazy kept playing with her, so we moved it up there. Belle and the Beast right here. So then, first thing you do is you come in here into the main living space. You've got your main hangout area with your comfy sectional TV if you wanna watch it. You actually have a bedroom right here off to the side. In fact, let's try and count the bedrooms as we go. This is number one. You got a bedroom right off here to the side. Look at this kitchen, you guys. The kitchen is amazing. Now, I don't do a lot in the kitchen, but mom could probably tell you the kitchen is pretty unreal. What I love most is like the high countertop. Very high. You could work on it right here in the island. Sink. You've got the other double sink over here, guys. We got a dishwasher right here. You've got obviously all the stove action you could want. Two ovens. Nice luscious pantry. You got Brex. And two sinks. Two sinks. Refrigerator. Just what you would expect in a kitchen except more. So the kitchen is fantastic. One of the other things that's really cool that we've been finding as we go through like drawers that we think, hey, we need to go grab this or we don't have this thing. They have everything. They have like kids plates. They, live, they literally have a training toilet potty. If you were potty training and just forgot to bring awesome. it, there's one of those there's in the kids bathroom. There's and like baby spoons. And Two high chairs up here. <laughs> Three strollers in the garage excited. if you need a stroller. Like it's unreal. Everything has been taken care of. As you know the Beauty and the Beast, be our guest. You come into the kitchen. Yes. This is where we've had a couple of meals already. Be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. This is where you eat. This is the dining room. Just down here off the main dining room, we have what we like to call the. Oh! Mindy, hi! You, guys, uh, you know we're on vacation, right? <laughs> No, or is it awesome? It's awesome, guys. Like, we're having like a chill day at home, our new home. <laughs> <laughs> like, the kids' clothes are getting dirty, they're flying everywhere, and I'm like, I'm just gonna get the laundry done so I have less to do at home. Isn't that genius? Very genius. And something else that was cool to get the laundry down here, she just dropped it from up above there. The laundry chute, <laughs> and like, it falls down and like fills this real closet. One. There is a part of me that wants to send Hazy down. I'm not gonna <laughs> no, maybe. Stay tuned. Mom, I'll leave you to it. There's a laundry room here, nice little wash sink washer and dryer, and a built-in mom. How nice. <laughs> All right, then you come out of the laundry room. You've got a bathroom right here off to the side. These bathrooms are all very nice. And you've got cabinets with some linens and things like that. Now, guys, this is a master bedroom that we didn't even know was in here until we did this house tour. We actually skipped this. We didn't realize the hall went down here and had this much space still. We've been staying upstairs, but this is a full master bedroom. So they have two of those. Hey, guys, how are you doing? You got the bathroom in here. You've got this nice sink and vanity there or whatever you call this thing. I'm not the best guy to do a house tour. I don't know what the stuff's called. And then you have a really nice, like, stone, marbly shower thing in there. Really nice. Like I said, this is a bedroom that we didn't even know was in here. It's got a, oh, look at this. Brexton, you're like this little hidden dude who just shows up around every corner in a new situation. I love it. You got a big closet in there, a little get ready place right there where you can get ready and check out how good you look. You know, Brexy looks so good. I'm gonna go upstairs now. You got the garage over here. Not much to see there. You guys saw the pool earlier today. It's right out that window. We had some fun out there. Should we go upstairs, Mom? Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Here we go. Ooh, the spiral staircase. And the first thing you see, oh, you got some homies playing pool in the man cave. Oh, Kruby. So we got a pool table in here. This is kind of like, I think it was actually called the man cave in the description. So this is like the hangout. You've got a sectional behind me here. You got some sports posters. You got the TV right here. You got the bar over here with a refrigerator, stuff to get some snacks ready. The kids are having some popcorn up earlier, playing pool, loving every minute of it. So honestly, the guys have been spending more time in here than almost anything because we don't have a pool table and they are fascinated with it. So they're playing a lot of pool in here. You come out of the man cave, just gaze over the edge here again. And go, oh, you know what? We're gonna forget it. So I'm gonna come down here and show you real quick. This is a fun little cutout for the kids to play with toys here on this table with a full Toy Story wall. Very cool, very fun little cutout area so that the kids could play with some toys right there if they wanted. There were some trucks and things here. I think we're gonna find them throughout the house on the rest of the tour here. Hazy, is this a fun room for you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go show them the rest. Okay, so you come in here, walk across this way. Now you can go left. Oh, hi, Bryce. <laughs> More right. I'm gonna go right because we're gonna get this out of the way because I can't figure out how to turn the light on down here. So this is actually a really fun Cinderella room, but I have 
tried every switch in the book and I can't figure it out, but because this camera is so amazing, it's actually lighting it up better than I can see it. But this is a Cinderella themed room. You've got the fairy godmother, you pull the blinds down, it has some princesses on them. Up here it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep, which is what you'd be doing right here. At night, it's got the fun mice down here and the little mouse hole, but I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how to turn on the light. So, we'll be very quick with that one. Station here to what, fold the clothes? I don't know. There's like extra towels, extra sheets. Uh, I Anything you could possibly need. Let's go ahead and show Brexy's room first because I think he's loving this one. This is where me and Brexy have been sleeping and we absolutely love it. So, you've got this bed right here and all this is all I thought it was at first. So me and Brexy have been sleeping on this bed right here together. Like a couple of bosses, huh dude? But then we discovered this isn't just a cool house. Oh no, no. This actually is a bunk bed that you can live in the upstairs of this house. Oh, he didn't make the bed. Awkward. Just kidding, that's okay. <laughs> so, there's a bed up there where Brex has been playing and, and reading books and things like that. Oh, there's the toy trucks that we were looking for. There's a mine race. Hey, there's the mine race that we were playing earlier. We actually legitimately love that game, you guys. They have not stopped playing it since we did that. So you've got the bed right here, dresser, closet, fun like nursery rhyme things, three little bears. Red, Little Riding Hood, Humpty Dumpty. You come out of that room, you've got a bathroom right here. This is one that the kids have been sharing. Got the get ready side, the sink side, you got your toilet, your shower, very nice, very nice. So they share this. This is actually very ironic that we were Peter Pan for Halloween. So this is the Peter Pan room, never grow up. You got the Lost Boys, Crocodile, Hook and Pan squaring off. So pretty much most of our family right there in a wall mural. They got a Captain Hook pillow, two beds. What the kids love about these is that the beds actually pull out underneath and even though they have a bed, they're having fun sleeping on the little trundle that pulls out from underneath. So, a lot of fun. You could actually sleep four people in here if you wanted to. Dresser, closet, fun room. That's one of the things that's so cool about this house is that all of the rooms are themed or have some kind of mural or have something kid-like, cartoonish, that the kids will feel comfortable with and have fun with. And it's just more fun than just a normal house. And now, that brings us to the final piece of the home tour, which would be the master bedroom, the master suite, where Mindy and I have not been staying. Mindy and Hazy have been staying. I slept here for like a couple hours last night. The master suite, enter if you will. Ooh. Where's your bed? Hazy wants to show her bed. Show us your bed, Hazy, show us your bed. Oh, she is pumped. That's Hazy's bed. Do you love your bed? That's one of two pack and plays that were here available for us to use. Hazy girl, loving her bed. She actually really does love it. She asks to go down at night. She enjoys it so much. You've got a full size couch in here with all this empty space. You've got the gigantor yeah! bed that's literally made of, of, of clouds. I'm pretty sure. Are you kidding you? I have not gotten such great sleep on vacation. Very fun for a vacation rental. So guys, you turn this way. Let me just show you how you enter the bathroom. With like really? drapes that look like they're from Aladdin or something. Very cool. Very swank. You come in here, you got your double sinks that we've already destroyed with all of mom's get ready products. That's okay, that's because you, okay. you think that's bad. I've got my pool clothes just wadded up right here. We are in vacation mode, people. We're not in necessarily like full deep clean mode. We've got the deep, nice tub over here. It's kind of fun. You got like the window right there. You've got this little cutout right here. Pretty rad. You've got bathroom right here. Whoa, hi. I haven't even seen this door opened yet. Where are you? Hello. What? This is a closet that spans the whole they bathroom. Have a closet in here, but they have one, two, three, four, five, probably six air, air mattresses. mattresses if you need them. If you need them, everything say, is taken care of. I'm literally walking one. through this walk-in closet and getting a little tired. It's so big. Now we skipped while walking through there a walk-through shower. How about this? You've got the double shower heads. You've got. <laughs> Two things there, you got Brexton on the other side. Why don't we come in here, Brex? You wanna come with me? You got this little bench right here you can sit and hang out. In fact, we could probably get the whole family in here. <laughs> Hazy's in here, Brexy's in here. Guys, we're coming to you from the shower. We literally have a family of four in the shower right now. <laughs> we're all clothed and it's not weird. This is how big the shower is. This is an incredible home, you guys. So guys, there you have it. That is pretty much the full tour, I think. <laughs> She's acting as if she got out of the shower. That's pretty much it. We have had so much fun staying this in this amazing. house. It's been unreal. Has everything we've needed. The kids have loved playing pool. We've loved the extra space. We can be like, hey, you guys play pool while mom gets lunch ready. Dad will edit. And nobody's on top of each other. We all have a different room or even so a different hard. level of the house. It's been so nice been to be in so this home. Guys, we don't know how echoey this is. We don't know if you can even hear us. But we're going to sign off the vlog from here on the spiral staircase of Bell's Castle. Tomorrow, Universal Studios. We're going to hit up everything. Natty's back with us. It's going to be the hugest, most epic vlog of this whole week. We love you guys. Thank Butter! you so much. Butter <laughs> Butter beer. Is awesome. oh, yeah. Guys, what do we say to everybody? One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. We love you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. No, no, hey.
Thank you.